infinite quantum qigong is an ancient form of energy cultivation which marries the sacred and the scientific. We recognize ourselves as nature, the transmitters and receivers of celestial and terrestrial energies. We collect, cultivate, harness natural energies from the sun, the moon, the stars and the planets and guide by intention into our various centers in the body from the intuitive center to the vocal center to the emotional center and into the physical center which is the Tantian and we collect the energy and keep it cultivate there with infinite qigong we recognize the sacred geometry of the infinite the figure eight and we move our bodies accordingly to create flexibility of the spine and allowing the vibration of the earth to rise from the feet into the legs into the torso into the chest the heart into the head and into the outer aspects of who we are, the chi aspects, the energy matrix, and allowing this acceleration of cellular restructuring to occur naturally. With this practice, we recognize that the breath is the connection with spirit, and the release of the breath, allowing the flow of energies to rise in the body like waves, the way that energy moves in nature, in spirals, in vortices, in waves, like the ocean, like the way a flower grows. And in the stillness, we also come back to the center point. And even when in movement, we remain centered, the zero point awakening where we experience a state of grace, where there is bliss and joy and release. And this philosophy is called Sung, relaxation. In relaxation, we are able to surrender to spirit and receive and rejuvenate the cells and also to open our throats to receiving the divine sounds of the universe. From the simple form of just standing the Wu Chi stance into the division of the Tai Chi into Yin Yang. This is the formal expression of the Yin Yang movement. The collection of the Chi in the center and allowing the waves to flow through the body, releasing the energy and manipulating Chi now transposing the polarities of masculine and feminine, the yin and yang, and allowing this to flow around the energy matrix of the body, and thereby also transforming the energy matrix of the internal systems, the meridians. So this is the practice of internal qigong, neigong, and external qigong, weigong. And as it expresses itself, into flow and linear forms such as Tai Chi and martial arts and yoga. With intention, we direct the energy into specific parts of the body and creating the body's sacred geometry and balancing opposing forces, paradoxes, working at the same time with emotions Balancing emotions to, to stability and mental clarity. We uplift ourselves to being more than who we are. Releasing stress and going back into the flow of life. Reaching out with fluidity and working with the blood, the lymph, the hormones in the body. The energy is extended into the hands and with that we reach out into the world. 
while we cultivate energy in the hands, then we develop healing abilities and the ability to manipulate energies in our physical bodies and in space. Allowing the space to return to a harmonious vortex of energy, to a flow, a resonance, of the universe. We allow ourselves to move into the world with flexibility, allowing the spine to be nourished with the cerebrospinal fluids as it moves up the spine and we direct the energy around us and as we do that we then begin to elongate the spine and stretch ourselves into infinite possibilities balancing softness and gentleness with firmness and directedness allowing ourselves the connection with spirit soul serenity speed sensuality and sensitivity. With this practice, we move with the figure eight throughout the entire body and then direct certain forces into specific organs or areas for specific reasons of healing and then coming back to center to gather the energies again to rejuvenate and to regenerate. We also work with the lower areas of the body to ground our energies to be fully grounded as mortals on the planet and to move with the, our work in the world with destiny, our sole purpose. But with flexibility and dancing with the universe so that one is light upon the earth and keeping in connection with the breath and with spirit. And with this closure, we gather the energies again into different aspects of the body, channeling the energies again to organs, to certain parts of the body, to heal. In our closure, as we look into the right palm, we discover our soul destiny and grounding our work onto the planet and coming back again to the center point, the stillness of the soul. We protect ourselves with this layer of energy that is real and that is measurable in the scientific realm. We open ourselves into the world to become our divine beings, as mortal beings.